All right, guys, this is something that's really cool. And I know that everyone's sitting at home because of the coronavirus. So I thought I'd show you an old trick of mine back in the day. This is one of my first tricks. And so we're going to take a deck of cards. And um, you might want to come a little close for this because this is going to be kind of cool. So uh, magicians do lots of different things. So sometimes, come on up here. Uh, they would say just take a card out of the deck of cards but not this trick no this trick goes further than that instead of that i'm going to have andrew the producer here give me a number between uh 10 and 20. any number 11. 11. so with that i'm going to count down one two you can come here chloe if you want to see two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so with 11 cards, a lot of people say, well, that's your card right there, but not this trick. This trick goes further than that. So let's see, we did 11, that's a double digit. So we're gonna put the two digits together. That makes two, one, two. So that one right there, I'm not gonna look, my eyes are closed. You see what the card is? Yep. My eyes are still closed, I'm putting it back, I'm putting that back down, okay? We'll square it up in there. We'll make a cut so it is, in the deck lost in the deck you scoot back just a little bit and so here we go now somewhere in this deck is your card now a lot of people they would just kind of shuffle the deck like this and say well here's your card but this trick actually goes further than that and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh let the deck tell me what your card is so here we go it's you can hear it. it's kind of like a code morse code okay so that's, oh, there it is. So it tells me it's a, it's a black card. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay, hold on. Okay. And it's a ace. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're two for two. Hold on. And it's a, is it the ace of clubs? Yeah. Or is it the ace of spades? Spades. Okay, I was off a little bit. So, so a lot of tricks. That's cool, right? I mean, most tricks would stop right there, but not this trick. No, no, no. This trick goes further than that. And so, um, let's say uh, since we the deck told us what the card is, let's take that just another step further, and uh, we're actually spell out your card. Let's see if we can get this here. So we did um, first was an ace. So let's spell A C E. And then um, next would be the suit, so that's a spade, S-P-A-E-D-S. -E and the next card we come to is your card, the Ace of Spades. Now that's cool. And most tricks would stop right there, but not this trick. This trick goes further than that. And so let's see, we had Ace here. If I took these three cards and turn them over, you would see that's the other three Aces. If I took these cards, you'll see that these are the spades in order two through seven. Now, most tricks would stop right there, but not this trick. This trick goes further than that. And the only way I could go further than that is to take this card uh, and actually bring a poker hand to this card. And there's no way you could go any further than a perfect royal flush in spades further than that now this is what i want to tell you real quick is that god is the king of the universe and he always goes a little bit further i know right now a lot of people are scared can god bring us out of this god can do anything he will always go further than that he did not have to come to earth but he did he did not once he was here have to do anything he could have just healed people but he said i'm going to go further than that he could have went and took stripes on his back for our healing, but he said, I'm going to go further than that. He could have just died for us. The Bible says no greater love have any man than this, than a man would lay down his life for his friend. But he said, I'm going to go further than that. He rose from the grave and that was amazing. But he said, I'm going to go further than that. I'm going to come and live inside of my people's hearts. I want you to know whatever you're facing right now, Jesus Christ has the answer. He always takes the extra step. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.